Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and if you've ever wanted to make an FPS, then here's your chance with this heavily discounted bundle. Let's inspect some of these assets to see what they do and what they look like. You can get some awesome characters, a bunch of monsters and humans, make a really giant gorgeous looking city, get some awesome animated first person weapons, play around in a gorgeous outdoor environment or a shooting range, so you've got lots of awesome visuals, as well as tons of useful systems, so easily make some tooltips, handle bullet physics with some impact, sense for nearby objects, do some multiplayer, or use the ultimate FPS to get your game idea up and running super quickly. So all of that is really awesome stuff and all of it just for 25 bucks. In total everything is worth over a thousand dollars so it's a massive discount. If just a single one of these looks interesting to you then the whole thing is an excellent deal. I've certainly picked it up myself right away. This one is a pretty quick deal, I'm actually a bit late with making this video. It ends in just a few days so if you're interested definitely get it quickly. The link in the description is an affiliate link so if you use it it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. And of course with this being a humble bundle some of the proceeds also go towards charity and they picked some very important ones so that's always a nice bonus. The bundle contains assets but also two interesting games, Verdun and Tenenberg. These are great World War I shooters and Verdun also has some really interesting mechanics which I actually remade in another video. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. I really like making these how it's made videos, recreating some interesting mechanics, but for some reason those videos don't do very well. So if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a try. One more quick thing, this Friday on the 24th I won't be participating in the official Unity and livestream. We're going to check out some of these assets, we're going to play some Verdun, and I won't be answering questions from chat. So if you like live streams, come check it out. Okay, so let's inspect some of these assets to see what they do and what they look like. There's timestamps in the video if you want to skip ahead to a particular asset or tool. The main one for this pack is the Ultimate FPS. This is a very advanced tool for very easily creating an FPS game. It's got an excellent demo scene, so let's look at it. So here it is. Right away there's some text up top. It guides you through everything that the asset can do. So right away we can walk around, move around, jump. Then you see a weapon right away, so just move it and pick it up. There you go, some nice weapon animations. The weapon also has a really nice zoom and of course you can shoot. So just fire and yep, you can aim anywhere, there's some bullet particles, some decals, all of it looking pretty great. Then this controller is also physics based so you can interact with other physical objects. There's even some exploding crates. You can pick up a bunch of other weapons like some pistols, some other rifles, a shotgun, some other things. This also has some magic abilities so you can fire some fireballs, a bunch of particles. Nice healing effect, just want a nice shield to defend from bullets, yep there you go, so lots of versatility. It also includes an interaction system so you can touch all kinds of buttons, you can open up a bunch of crates and also go through the door. So just interact, open the door or play an entire animation of actually moving through the door and then back to controlling. So as you can see there's tons and tons of things you can do with this asset, all of it included and it's a really nice starting point. How you add it on to a scene is also super simple. It comes with a really nice main menu. So there you go, it's got an entire window. You can just go into the character, make a new character, and just as able the animator to go with the simplest thing possible, just build character. And yep, there it is, right away, just like that, just with a single click, you've got a fully functioning first person character. So as you can see, this one is really capable, lots of features. It's a really complex tool, so that can really help you to quickly get an FPS up and running. But being so complex does mean that it does have a learning curve. Now thankfully they do have some excellent documentation including step-by-step -step video tutorials. So if you take the time to learn how to use this tool you'll certainly get a lot out of it. Now for me I actually prefer smaller assets that do just one single thing and for that the character movement fundamentals is perfect. It's a very easy to use and extremely capable character controller. Now moving a character is something you don't really think too much about but it actually has quite a lot of complexity. You've got the answer to the questions like how does your character handle steps, slopes, terrain, moving platforms, physics, and so on. So this asset handles all of that. So here is the demo scene where you can see all kinds of different obstacles. And also this one works in first person but also in third person. So for example making a custom gravity. So you can go in and yep the character is always like that. So this is pretty tricky for you to make but over here you get it out of the box. Then moving platforms, also something that if you try to do you've probably encountered lots of issues with it, so once again, very easy. Then of course it works on all kinds of terrain, so going up and as you can see everything is really nice and smooth. Same thing for going up any kind of slopes, any kind of stairs, the character is really smooth and it perfectly matches all of the terrain. 
And if you want to make some puzzle games, then this one also has some inversion of gravity, so you can flip it around and make something really, truly very strange. So personally, I would say this is probably my favorite asset from the bundle. I never like having to deal with all of the edge case when it comes to character controllers, so for me, the bundle is worth it just for this one. Then for tons of super high-end characters, you have the Sci-Fi Characters Mega Pack. The usual price for this one is $250, so again, if you want just a single thing, then the whole bundle is a great deal. These are some great looking characters and they're all animated. So they range from some normal looking humanoid space characters. Then you also got some very weird, very strange monsters. Then you've got some super giant bosses, perfect for making a couple of boss fights. So look at that one, really huge, really strange. And then with this being sci-fi, you also have a whole bunch of mechs. So look at all of these, look at all that, looking really great. And according to the description on the Essence Store, they are continuously adding more and more characters to this pack, and there's 10 more to come. If you just want some animated weapons, then this pack is also great. So you've got everything from a bunch of rifles, some Uzis, some shotguns, some pistols, even some melee weapons, some grenades, and so on. All these are perfect for making a first-person game. And they come with all sorts of animations, as well as a bunch of really nice scopes and attachments. So you could easily combine any of these with either the character controller asset or use it with the UFPS asset. If those weapons are too realistic and you want some more sci-fi weapons, there's another pack with a whole bunch of them. For a super useful effect, you have Highlight Plus. So it does exactly what you expect. It lets you very easily add some highlights to pretty much any object. So this would be great for highlighting some weapons or maybe a weapon that you can pick up or pretty much anything that you want the player to see. Another useful tool is the Pro Tips Tooltip System. It's really advanced, very versatile. If your game has tons of items or weapons or skills, then this would be a great addition. You can use it with any style you want, display any text or images, and it's always on screen, so no issue with the tooltip being hidden. For some environments, you have the Seascape City System. This one lets you easily generate a pretty convincing city with just a single click. So if you want to quickly make a GTA-like prototype, then this would be a great starting point for building your world. It builds roads and all kinds of buildings. The buildings themselves also look pretty great. They even have a window shader with fake parallax interiors. And you've got lots and lots of settings for changing pretty much anything. For other environments, you have the post-apocalyptic world pack. So the assets page for this one says that it's inspired by The Last of Us, and that definitely makes sense. It looks pretty great, and of course this is a whole demo scene. And all this is composed of tons of different unique objects, so you can easily just take them apart and build your own unique scene. And if you have a training area in your game, then you can use these shooting range interiors. So lots of games have places where you can test out your weapons, and this would be the perfect place for it. If instead of FPS you want to make a third-person shooter, then the bundle also includes an excellent asset just for that. Based on the demo scene, it looks really capable, so you've got lots of locomotion actions, the character controller handles all kinds of terrain, it features third-person shooting, some ragdolls, ramps, hazards, and accurate foot placement. Also, it even has vehicle support, so you can go inside and drive a bike or a car. Looks really awesome. And there's even more awesome stuff in the bundle. So for example, you've got a UI pack, lots of UI elements, of course, tons of sound effects, music, and so on. You also have a really complex AI system, then a physics interaction system, a bunch of sci-fi props, you even have a multiplayer shooter template, have some sensors to identify a bunch of things, and of course, the two games that I mentioned. So, as you can see, there's tons of awesome stuff that you can get for a very low price. Like I said, if just a single one of these looks interesting, then the home bundle is worth it. This is a pretty quick deal, I'm actually a bit late with making this video. It ends just next week, so if you're interested, definitely go ahead and get it now. And like I mentioned, the bundle also includes those two games, so go play some for done, and then go watch my video on remaking some interesting mechanics from it. And don't forget, if you like live streams, come and join me this Friday on the Unity livestream. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.